वेलकम टू दीडियो सीरीज ऑफ मॉल बायो एक्सप्लेन इन थ्री मिनट्स वेर आई एक्सप्लेन अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मॉल बायो इन लेस दैन थ्री मिनट्स और सो टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंशियल स्कैनिंग फ्लूरीमेट्री दिस पर्टिकुलर टेक्निक इज यूज टू मेजर प्रोटीन अनफोल्डिंग बाई मॉनिटरिंग द चेंज इन फ्लूरसेंस एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टेम्परेचर इनक्रीज सो इन दिस टेक्निक वी यूज अ हाइड्रोफोबिक डाई विच इज नोन एज साइप्रो ऑरेंज दैट कैन बाइंड टू द हाइड्रोफोबिक रेसिड्यूज ऑफ द प्रोटीन in the native state generally the hydrophobic residues are not exposed that's why very little amount of dye could bind but when the temperature increases and the protein denatures more and more dye can bind so if we plot this data in a fluorescence level versus temperature graph we can notice that at the initial stage when the protein is in its native conformation very little amount of cypro orange can bind because this dye is dedicated for hydrophobic amino acids which present which are present in the core of the protein now when the protein denatures the dye binds and the fluorescence increase over time looking at similar kind of graph one can deduce many things so simply folded state means less fluorescence and unfolded state means more fluorescence so let's say we have two protein and they have the dsf curves like this so we can tell from this curve that protein a has more thermal stability that's why it shows fluorescence at a higher temperature compared to the protein b now at a technical level if we look at that dsf machine it has three core components one is the fluorescence detector which detect the cyprofluorescence the peltier block and the sample plate so the peltier block is used to change the temperature of the machine so whenever we want to change the temperature gradually and rapidly in this case peltier devices are used for example we use this similar devices in pcr on top of that sample plate is loaded where cypro orange is incorporated and the fluorescence from the sample is detected by this fluorescence detector let's talk about the applications of dsf it includes analyzing protein stability analyzing or to detect ligand uh, protein ligand inter interaction also analysis of protein aggregation you can get notes and flash card in my facebook page and instagram page definitely follow me you can support the channel by super thanks and see you in next video